Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Metro Johnny and today we are here on Madden 12 MFL 2.0. Today's episode, we are simming all of season two regular season. We're going straight to the playoffs. We're gonna speed this baby up because I got a lot of stuff I wanna to bring to the channel. Um, a lot of new series that I wanna do. Um, there's custom rosters on Madden 22 thanks to awesome people out in the world. Um, so the, the possibilities that I can do for rebuilds there is limitless basically. Um, and I actually do plan on bringing a Miami Dolphins 1990s rebuild. Um, basically the league, we're going back in time to the 1990s and the rosters are pretty spot on. So um, I want to bring stuff like that to the channel. I want to. I still want to bring this this year, to, you know, to you guys. And if you like this format, we, you know, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. If you like this format and you're okay with us simming the regular season, taking a look at everyone's regular, uh, regular season stats, and watching the playoffs, then we can keep this series around. We can keep going on. Um, I would be down to do that. Uh, but for right now. We're doing that for this season. We're going to sim season two here on the MFL. As we all know, the Eagles coming off of a, a championship. Alrighty, guys. So it just kept simming right on through week 10. But we are here at week 13. Six teams have played their games here. Uh, the Eagles, Ravens, and Steelers all winning their games there. Let's take a look at the thing. We're not going to take a look at the stats yet because we're going to do that at the end of the year. Let's take a look at the standings and see. I, I was, I've was i been sitting here just watching, and the Cardinals are on a two-game winning streak. That's my team that I'm personally on, 7-4. We're looking like a good team. I mean, it's close. Oh, as my chair squeaks, it's close. It's, you know, I don't know. We're a fifth seed, but or fifth-ranked team. But, I mean, I look how – look at – how many six and five teams there are look how many seven and four teams and eight and four teams i mean like what's happened what what is this what is this are you telling me the two best teams are eight and four like that's it like there is not a dominating team in this league <laughs> it's kind of crazy but uh let's take a look at the divisions each man ravens Bengals. i mean it really is anybody's game here but the ravens have that lead and uh, tyreek whitehead uh, this is a pretty weak division here, but you see it. Jags have the lead. Patriots. Dolphins still have a chance. Bills. What about the AFC West? The Chiefs, Broncos, Chargers. The NFC North. The Packers, Lions. But I mean, I just don't even know. I really don't know what's going to happen here. This is a wild, wild year. And then in my division, with my team, we are actually leading the division over the Rams. You know, those, you know, the Rams are the, the team to beat, in my opinion, and we're beating them right now. Uh, Clayton DeBush and that squad out there in San Francisco, not looking so good, not looking so hot. Um, yearly awards, can we look at a race? Right now it's Michael Vick in the lead. No uh, subscribers. Offensive player of the year. Is there anybody in the lead right now? Any subscribers? No. Well, look at that. Offensive rookies of the year. Well, they're not really rookies, but they're still going to get an award. Jay Fresh is a rookie. He's looking to get it there. Bob Prakniak. Uh, defensive rookies. K. Murray. Best QB. What about best running back? Nobody yet. Best wide receiver. Mark. Oh, the other Clayton. Chris Godwin. Best O-line. Best D-line. I don't even think we have any D-line subscribers. Wow. Really nobody, uh, okay. Really nobody for subscribers stepping up. All right, listen. We're about to do this. Um, we're going to go ahead and sim the rest of the way. We see, really, you, okay, you see it. It's close. It could really go anywhere at this point. That doesn't make it. We're just going to simulate regular season. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. Week 17 is done. What teams have made it to the playoffs? You may have seen it. Um, well, this is the wild card week. 
Patriots Broncos. The rookie Jaquan Towers leads the Patriots to the playoffs. Redskins Cardinals with a one of the most dominating records in the playoffs or in the wild card round. The Cardinals come in at 11 and 5. So who outdid them? To, so they would I don't I, I guess maybe the Rams won the division. I'm not sure here. Uh the, Car the Cardinals have made the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny Metro, Zach Keister, Daniel Zimmer, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Vaughn Prakniak. The Saints and Falcons. That is your wild card round, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to take a look at the standings, take a look at league stats and regular season stats, and then we're going to end this episode. And um, we're going to... You know, look forward to some playoff football. So the Eagles, let's just take a look here at uh, AFC first. You got the Chiefs getting the bye. Ravens, uh, Patriots win the division. Uh, Texans win the division at 9-7. Broncos, Stiller. So you see it there. Um, I think the Ravens get the bye, right? There's two teams that get the bye there. Uh, possibly, probably. I don't know. Anyways, there's your, there's your AFC teams. For the NFC, you have the Eagles getting the bye. Philadelphia Eagles, man, looking to win another ring. Are you kidding me? The Packers, Cardinals, the Falcons, the Saints, the Redskins. And the Rams didn't win the division. We won the division, I guess. The, or the Cardinals won the division, but they just... Not a good enough record to get them to, you know, the, the bye. They, we are, they're honestly so close to getting the bye, though. I mean, it could have went our way, but look at those Packers on a 10-game win streak. Holy shit. The Redskins on a one-game one losing streak. They have the biggest win streak of a team that's in the playoffs. Houston behind them with four. Interesting. Interesting indeed. All right. Time to take a look at the stats, man. I'm a stats kind of guy. Um, I like looking at stats, so let's break down. We're gonna take a look by NFL. I forgot these the menus were a little weird back in the day here. So for passing yards, Peyton Manning gets 4,000. 26 touchdown passes, 10 interceptions. But we are here for those subscribers. Butter Miner finishes. With the most yards, 21 touchdown passes, 12 interceptions. Who was behind him? Oh, there's Tim Tebow. Ken Burks, who struggled, throwing 16 interceptions, 19 touchdown passes. Jaquan Towers, who led his team to the playoffs, wild card round, 18 touchdown passes, 12 interceptions. Not the best day by any any subscriber quarterbacks. For the Casey Woods, 20 and 11. It's not too bad. Roberto Nandino, who, uh, unfortunately, his team isn't going to make the playoffs, man. The Rams were really talked up. I mean, they're, they're so dominant, and they're not going to make it. Greg Maddox, who struggled. 13 touchdown passes, 12 interceptions. That's kind of embarrassing. Uh, Von Prakniak. And Jamie Bell, who, uh, in my opinion, that's a pretty damn good year. That's a pretty good year. Out of all these, he might have the best. I mean, besides um, Butterminer. I mean, he didn't throw for a lot of yards, though. That's the thing. Uh, but he w he's really low on interceptions. 17-6. Um, 54 completion percentage. Could be a little better. Not bad, though. The most set quarterback is the best subscriber quarterback, which is crazy. Butterminer. Uh... Got sacked 38 times, the most sacked quarterback in the league. Donovan McNam, uh, or McNab, McMahon, uh, is top three for that. So hopefully our D-line can get in on them. Von Prakniak is up there as well. But we did a good job at protecting, um, Cardinals did a good job at protecting Jamie Bell. Here we go for rushing. It's APOP. OPAP. Led the league in rushing. But what subscriber finished the best? 
for yards. It's going to... Is the king back to reclaim his throne as the best running back subscriber? Zach Keister finishes among the top as he is uh, fifth in the total league for yards. And he is number one over all subscribers. Averaging 3.5 yards per carry, he got the ball handed to him 360 times. 1,280 yards and nine tutties. Looking to make a big run in the playoffs. And uh, the closest to him for subscribers, Caleb Goins, of course, who finishes under 1,000. That's crazy. He is the only subscriber to finish above 1,000. For the first time ever, I think, in history, that only one subscriber gets over 1,000 yards. Well, that's insane. Uh, Mike Evans had a fantastic year. He finishes uh, number one in yards. Wes Welker right behind him. What about subscribers, though? Well, of course, you got, you know, Jordan Gregory has a phenomenal year, finishing 1,139 1, yards. Unfortunately for him, man, his team isn't going to make it, but he had a very good season. Very good season, but his team didn't make the playoffs. Um, the closest to him as my son screams in the background. The closest to him for subscribers is Eli Cruz with 759. So not really even that close. Uh, for defense, it's Steven Cruz. He always seems to lead in tackles, man. Steven Cruz is a beast. Uh, 154 tackles for him. Holy crap. Who? What subscriber got to the quarterback the most? Is there even a... I don't even know if we really have any subscribers that would do that. Yeah, I don't think we do. What about interceptions, though? Oh, my God. Rondé Barber... I think that's... Is that a league record? 13 interceptions? Are you fucking kidding me? I feel bad for any quarterback that has to go against that man right there. He is a quarterback's nightmare. Um, four subscribers getting interceptions... Um, wow, we, we didn't really have many step up. I wish I would have done a little better. K. Murray with three. Um, and that's about it, man. Okay. Uh, there I am, Johnny Metro with three as well. 52 tackles on the year. Uh, two for a loss, one sack. Okay. Could have been a little more productive. Um, year for me, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. But yeah, so there it is, guys. Okay. So, this is the thing. We're in the playoffs. If a subscriber team is there, we're going to watch them. So, I got to make sure I don't forget any of you guys. Because it has been a minute, so I got to remember where everyone's at. I know for sure Jaquan Towers is on the Patriots. So, we'll watch that game. I know that, obviously, there's a lot on the Cardinals. I'm on that team, so we're going to watch that game. Saturday night, and uh, Von Prakniak's on Steelers. And I don't think there's anyone on the Saints and Falcons, so I'm not sure. But either way, wild card round is next. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Who do you think is going to make that run? You already know who I'm picking. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs> Wow.